Hello there! Welcome back to Corpse Factory, where we're trying to figure stuff out. Kind of. When I turn on the burner phone, I'm happy to see the battery is still charged. Cool! I load up the phone number. Masking app. Uh, masking app. Enter my trademark uh, digits and then shoot the photo into the network. If Go To Me is a, is a screen addict like the rest of society, she'll be freaking out in about 10 seconds. Since this victim is going to have a quick turnaround time, I'll have the burner to the Backside tonight, back shed tonight, and to store it, and I'll ditch it in on the way to the office tomorrow. I'm not expecting a reply within such a narrow time frame, so there's no need to hold a hold on to the phone for 24 hours, like I normally do. Clenching the phone with one hand. I grab my keys from the kitchen bench with the other. I step towards the front door. Beep, beep, beep. Shit. <laughs> the phone in my hand vibrates violently, and I nearly drop it in terror. What the? That was quick. I bring the screen swiftly to my face and read the alert. One new message. Without thinking, I unlock the phone and open the message. It's a reply from Kotomi Ida. You think this is funny? I know who you are. I'll report. I'll report you to the police. Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> this is gonna be amusing. <laughs> she actually replied for the first time since Cor. Yeah, since the first time Corpse Girl son started her group or grand work. I actually received a reply from a victim. Even though I used the number mask, there actually is nothing stopping someone from directly replying to my message. Well, shit. A reply message would still get sent through the network. And back to the burner SIM card. I should burn her phone SIM card. The number masks is simple is simply a stealth tactic disabling the ability to view what the phone number actually is it doesn't prevent replies well i wouldn't expect it to stop it unless there's certain differences if there's long enough span of time then yeah it would make sense it would be really difficult for it to go both ways. I discard the burner phones anyway, but an extra layer of security, not to mention a bit of a calling card. Judging by Kotomi's response, I assume we have a fighter on our hands. He's not gonna give in easily. It's gonna be amusing. Her thread about Reporting me to the police is a bluff. I'm confident that she couldn't possibly possibly know my identity. I've been waiting for this. I've waited so long for someone to reply. I can finally put my con <laughs> contingency plan into practice. I've been holding out for this moment. Hell yeah. I feel like a wreck a wretched grin split my face in two. And I mesh my fingers against the screen. 
as I compose a venomous reply. You look, you look, you like that photo. That's you in 12 hours, unless you follow my instructions. The message sounds like an insult. Like an, yeah, an, like an instant. Instant, and I eagerly wait the next the next reply. I'm not left waiting for long. Totemi's response comes through within seconds. Her attitude has completely changed. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything. What do you want? Your bluff, you piece of shit. Cool. Now you'll do what I tell you to. Well, you don't want to give yourself out. That's the main problem. I enter my instructions clearly and concisely. Pack five thousand. What is that? Into a bag. Put it into a coin locker, 6644, at Shinjuku Station. Retrieve the item already inside. Put the locker key inside a full soda bottle and leave it on top of the locker. After I sent the message, I decide to add one last bit. Do it now. Make sure no one sees you. Then go to platform 12. Do not board a train. Await my instructions. Satisfied with the adam, I hit send. If Kotomi truly fears her for her well-being, she she'll carry out the instructions. Her response arrives shortly. Okay, I'll do it. I, I'm going there now. Yes. I've done it. I have convinced her. I'll collect the money once I'm sure she's no longer hanging around. 500,000 yen is nothing to sneeze at. It's not life changing, but it'll cover my rent for a good few months. Hell yeah. I choose this amount to simply test the waters. Ask him for an instant. The insane amount of would make it imp impossible for the victim to follow through. But I have figured someone like Kotomi and Izek for a big company would easily have access to this much dough. But <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't deny it. I'll go collect the money. And if Everyone, everything goes well. Go to my Ida. Will disappear before sunrise. Though the hour is late, quite a few customers are still navigating through Shinjuku Station, wide platform, and underneath labyrinth, underground labyrinth. Okay. The train station beneath my feet is spiraling, uh, sprawling metropolis, uh, yeah, metropolis that expands below the city. It, it's packed with residents, shops, and other outlets. Huh. I've never been to Shinjuku, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I've never been to anywhere in the east. That makes sense. Why well, I'd never know this. Even if it's fake, I still wouldn't know this. 
Unless I actually take time to actually do what? <laughs> Go through Google Maps. <laughs> Back to the story. But as I am standing on one of the countless train platforms above ground, that would that world might as well be a completely different dimension. The only problem is that I have to brave the maze as I descend the platform stairs. I tend to get dizzy in such places. My normal morning route doesn't require me to travel through the underground plaza. I'm able to exit the station within minutes of my train arriving at the platform. Still, I'm somewhat familiar with the layout of the underground. I know exactly where Coin Locker 6644 is located. The Coin Lockers in train station in a train station like these are for our popular way for people to store luggage or personal belongings for a few hours at a time in Shinjuku it can often be difficult to find even a single available locker but coin locker 6644 is special I approach it from the main passageway of the underground, and my eyes take a familiar sight. That is... Oh, there's 6644. Locker 6644 is in the middle row, nestled between countless other lockers. Across its door is a Thick code of graffiti, colorful, colorful curse words, is sprayed on the thick panes that torn the locker. That doesn't look like curse words. <laughs> the graffiti is such an eyesore that it acts as a deterrent to anyone who might want to store their belongings. The icing on the cake is that is the condition of the coin operator, operated lock, that thing is busted and dented from physical abuse like somebody has tried to pry into it with a crowbar or manipulate it or on multiple occasions. So it's fine? However, I know from testing it firsthand that the lock still works despite its battered appearance. That's not bad. No one in their right mind would use this locker. And that makes it per a, the perfect spot to host my pickup. Perfect. Glancing at the locker, I notice that the soda bottles at the top of, of it. A full bo uh, so bottle full of bubbly up, uh, up to liquid. I quickly look around to make sure that Coach Miida is nowhere in sight. I walk past the locker and complete a lap around the immediate area, scanning thoroughly for her. But she isn't here, in fact. There are very few people in this little section of the station. Perfect. Good. So she followed my instructions perfectly. After leaving the key in the soda bottle, she left immediately. I, pre I approach the locker once more. And reach above, the, oh, reach above it, and receive the soda bottle. Then crack open to hear a fuzzy hiss. The bray, the boring. I bring the lid of the bottle to my eye level, and appear inside, trying to identify the shape of the key within the swirling ocean of carbonation. 
There it is. I try to fish out the, inside the narrow bottle opening with my fingers. Then, uh, thin though they are, I can squeeze more than two fingers inside the bottle at a time. I could, I could tap the bottle over the lid of the soda, and the keys spill out on the floor. But if somebody sees me being nu being a nuisance and cause a mess, it'll draw unwanted attention. I've got no chance but to chug back uh, some of the soda and try to clen clench the key in my mouth. As disgusting as this concept is, I need to steal myself. I rise the bottle to my lips, tilt my head back, and pour the finger I should foul liquid into my open mouth. And from here, I think it's best if I end the episode here. So, I hope all you guys have a great, love well, of time, and a great day too. Well, I question what we're planning to do. So, I'll see you guys next time. Well, we have other characters to throw into the list. <laughs>